This is a game called Earth from Another Sun, a open world space RPG game that is currently scheduled to be released next year, but we're gonna take an early look at it. Today's video is brought to you by Game Glass. With Game Glass, you can take control of your ship using a tablet or a phone. You can try it out using some of the free pre-made shots, or you can also make your own custom shots and share them with the community through the built-in marketplace. So gone are the days where you have no more room for all your key bindings. On top of that, Game Glass also supports Star Citizen. So follow the link in the video description and try Game Glass for free, and use offer code DTEA to get 5% off any purchase. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Earth from Another Sun. Um, as I said, game is currently planned to be released next year. This is a free demo that's available on Steam, means video is not sponsored or anything. It's free, you can go download it right now on Steam. Okay, so character creation. We're gonna give our character a name, we're gonna be playing as Howard O'Connor. There we go, and you also need a name for our faction. Uh, we are gonna be totally not a space pirate ink yes not very piratey at all uh, okay yep yeah, yeah it's, it's totally gonna be like this there we go legit faction logo confirm our instruments have detected that a large influx of pirates hmm wonder where they are from this is threatening our space okay so we are on board for uh, schumer's our ship at least we have our logo faction there seems to be kind of a world chat can we go in here? No. Oh, we can run really fast. Oh, hello, oh, oh, we have a bridge. Okay, we have a bridge. This looks like some kind of... We have some speed indicators. We have power, normal, and eco mode. So I assume that's some kind of speed control. I don't know. Mission board. Quests. This looks like a captain seat. Let's go. Okay, so for now on, we are controlling this in like a top-down kind of view. We can kind of look around in, in space. Okay, hold on. We need to look at our mission. So what was our mission? Our mission was to eliminate pirate fleets, conquer pirate fleets. So we need to find a pirate fleet, it seems. Hold on, there's a small pirate fleet right there. No. No, you don't. More power. There we go. We gotta fight the pirates. Well, there's some kind of survival mechanics to it where you need to make sure you have food and fuel and everything. Um, otherwise your crew is going to be very unhappy or you are going to be forced into eco mode if you don't have enough fuel. Now we're moving into the first person aspect of the game where basically all ship fights are handled on foot where this force field with... Freedom! There we go. With, uh, with like a, a, a moon kind of landscape spawns. And our job now is just quite simply just... If I could actually see them and figure out where they are. They should be somewhere. There they are, coming down the hill there. Okay, stick around here. That's one. There we go. First mission complete. Not too difficult, but it's kind of what you would expect from a tutorial mission, I guess. So, hold escape to leave battlefield. Okay. We did a thing. And we got... Reinforced Fluid F-105. Hey, level 2! So we got access to a skill slot. Weapon swap module. SMGs. Grenades and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Yes, it did complete the mission, and we got fully automated parts B1 as reward, and a bunch of XP. Okay, so now we're being introduced to the crafting system, which there is in this game as well. Um, not only for your like own gear, but also you can craft troops and all kinds of stuff that you can craft. So, basically we're going to be crafting some uh, SMGs and 10 grenades. What SMG is 10 grenades? And we need to increase our power to 65. So... Crafting system. Equipment. So we need to craft grenades. So we need to craft 10 grenades. We craft five at a time. Let's go and do that. That's 10 grenades. And we need to craft a SMG. So for the SMG, we have the fully automated parts. Then we need luminous alloy, which is up under here, the synthesis material. How much did we need of luminous alloy? One. So we got to craft one up here. And then we can craft the SMG. Nice. 
And with that, if we go to our inventory, we should be able to put that into our weapon slot and a grenade into our skill slot. And um, I guess that is it. Yeah, mission is complete. And we're level three. We've got crew quarters now on our ship. We got a bow, new weapon. We got access to recruits. So we can begin to build that and a new ship that we can build as well if we want to. So now we're being introduced to some kind of uh, like floating dungeons, basically. They're a little bit more difficult than the individual pirate encounters, but the loot reward is also so I much bigger. So we're basically on this like floating like hive world kind of thing that's floating in space and we need to go fight some eggs and steal them. And these new weapons are amazing. <laughs> Slaughtering our way through hordes and hordes of aliens. Oh, maybe we should try the grenades too. Or maybe save them for the boss encounter. I don't know if there's a big thing over there. I want to go and explore, see what that is. Here are the eggs. I can hear their guardian approaching. Ready your weapons. Oh, okay. I think we found the eggs. And boss encounter. I guess now would be a good time to learn how to use the grenades. Uh, get some distance. And clear some of the ads. Come on! Ah, shields are down! There we go. The ship's instruments Woo. tell us we gathered everything. Let's head back to the ship. See what we got? All kinds of loot. Nice. <laughs> 107 common kills. Sure leech one leader. Took 7 minutes to clear. 200 XP gained. Not too bad at all. Okay, so now would be a good time to talk about troops. Because now that we completed one of these hives, we got access to craft some of the Crimson Spiders. Which is some of the enemies that we just defeated. And our mission right now is actually to craft five of them. So with the materials we got from that hive, we can now craft these troops. And these troops will aid us when we go and fight um, like other pirates in the future. There are also some planets and other landables around that we can go and land on. That's not just a dungeon, but actually functions more like cities and mission hops. Those kind of things. So let's go to the first one here, which is called Terra. And we can already see we have one mission to complete over there, and there's four other missions we can go and pick up as well. So we'll probably start with these two ones. One of them is we need to go and beat up a guy because, well, he stole some things from one of the local merchants, so now we're gonna go and beat him up and make him give it back. <laughs> Simple as that. And the other one here requires us to, uh, to craft some semi-automatic parts. Simple crafting mission. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. Now, a thing I noticed that's really nice is like the semi-automatic parts right here. We can see we only have enough to craft one, but if you hover over a material, it tells you here that these are obtained where they are where they obtained, which is really nice. So you don't have to remember where you get all these different materials because, despite we only being like half an hour into the game, it's already becoming a little bit difficult <laughs> to remember where you get everything and where you found things. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go out for that guy that we have to go and find. And he's out there in an area we haven't explored. So I think I'm just going to fly out in that direction into that sector. What? Can I land on this? I want to go to that crew there. How much fuel do we have? We have three tons of fuel. Oh, look at the lightning. Oh, no, it's not lightning. It's like the vein. No, this lightning. So we're looking for someone called Nestra Gruzal. Whatever that is, or whoever that is. But I probably should actually prepare some more troops for that. Glowing watermelons. How nice. Nope, you are not. Not the person I'm looking for. Weapon shops. There's a person down here. Oh. <laughs> are you kidding me? No. You didn't. <laughs> okay. 
I cannot show this on YouTube. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> that, that, that won't fly. Advertiser-friendly content. <laughs> well, you stole, mo just stole money. You stole weapons from an arms dealer. Seems like a... Yeah, we're not gonna talk. We're just gonna attack him right away. Get this over with. With all my new troops, this should be, hopefully, easy. Look at all the guys. And all our new spider friends. We have a small army here. Which we can't command. So I'm just gonna... Oh, nope, that's a grenade. <laughs> command those forward. I can see them rushing down the hill over there. So I'm gonna... Command our guys even further forward. Oh, ouch. Okay, taking a lot of damage here. I'm gonna try to hide so I don't get too much aggro here. Oh, that's the last guy. There we go. Got him. Okay, so we captured this guy, now we can choose what to do with him. Force to capitulate, release him, or execute him. We take no prisoners. <laughs> and then... I get, look at that, that must be some of his family members that I'm getting negative standing with. I'm sure that's gonna, that's gonna give me trouble at some point. Ah, I found, what is this? A rift? Okay. It says that <laughs> it seems like this is a multiple my kind of multiplayer thing. <laughs> it's the highest difficulty like dungeon, if you will, that I've spotted so far. It was level six. Oh. Uh, I hope there's no fall damage in this game. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'm gonna get my Let's zoom in here. Okay, eliminate. Okay, so we have us like a progress bar on the right with like a. I am guessing if I kill enough enemies to fill up that progress bar, uh, it's gonna have some kind of final boss encounter. Something spawning in now. Surprised how much. There we go. She's back. Surprised how much damage I was able to do to him there. Ugh, great. Gotta run around that huge blob of enemies. And get over to the. To the boss again, try to focus him down. Oh, got him! I got him! Did that despawn? Oh, it did despawn all the ads. Nice! Oh, that should be some good loot in this. That was difficult. Oh, look at this. All the colors. And big chest has very underwhelming parts inside it. Okay, well, okay. I think it's time we upgrade our equipment because we can also build a lot of armor. Like we can have a we have a power armor V one of W one. We should increase our defenses a lot, and for that we need more of these pale crystals. And I notice that it says here the list that also get for these parasitic meteors. And comets, and I think I've spotted those out. We arrived here towards this uh, this area here. The same with the alloy visor, which is also like a place, like a, a defensive item we can uh, we can go and and get. But um, all of these, we need these pale crystals. So I think I want to go and take a look at what these meteorites have. Oh, yeah, look at this! Here they are. Level 7, level 8, level, level 7 up there. These are called the Mineral Comets. Oh, are we doing like King of the Hill kind of thing? They're here. Kill them while staying within the red circle. Guard the excavator at all costs. Oh, that's gonna be difficult. Oh, they're easy to kill. Unless I end up jumping into. Okay, don't get too close, they explode. He says and explodes them right in my face. But do I just need to clear them? Oh no, that's the leader. Oh, that's a fast one. Defeated. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay, we need better equipment for that. 
I am not gonna get defeated by that thing. I have crafted some equipment. It's not the like highest level equipment I have access to, but it's what I have the materials for. I'm gonna give this another go. And we also got ourselves a new gun. Look at that. Longer range. So that should be good for these where we can just peek around the corners and snipe people. One. They're here. Kill them while staying within the red circle. Guard the excavator at all costs. Okay, this is a lot better already. Yeah. Much more effective at range with this one. Ah, ran out of ammo. We was planning to shoot the barrels as he was running past them. Fail! Epic fail! Epic fail! Alright. Another pass past the barrels. Now let's take a quick heal. You killed my father! Prepare to die! Special delivery! There we go, got him. Now with that back on our ship, uh, we've unlocked a lot of new areas on the ship here as you can see from uh, from leveling up and I haven't explored them yet. I'm gonna leave that up to you to go and explore as well if you want to see what's behind these doors. But for now, I'm gonna call it for today. That was Earth from Another Sun. I really hope you liked it. As I said, this is was a free demo that was available on Steam. I thought it was fun to play, so I think I would make a video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's something you would see later on when the game is finally released sometime next year. Post it in the comment section below. Also, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. And also next time, I'll see you guys in space.